hello 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 welcome back to another one of my videos okay i was getting into this video oh so well and someone called me and i forgot to put on my do not disturb and it cut the darn video off and i was really getting into a good for you guys but let me just say this let me start over again i have about four or five regimens that i'm going to show you very quickly tonight for um asthma upper respiratory infections or upper respiratory issues uh clogged sinuses when you can't breathe that well uh, mucus in your lungs all of that okay um now let me show you what i have here right here i have some therapeutic peppermint oil i have some golden golden leaf uh gold golden seal leaves peppermint leaf mullein leaf and olive leaf see beautiful you can see them i don't have that much mullein left well i have it in the store and let me give you a close-up look of the peppermint leaf it's cut and sifted have some stems in there because we need those and we have the golden seal leaf and there's some roots in there also which is very great and i have my peppermint oil therapeutic peppermint oil um i have my um vix um what is this i forgot what you call this but you guys probably know what it is i, I can't think right now but this is my vix vapor steamer for my son's bedroom I have our uh, decongestant tea for respiratory, lungs, allergy, sinus, all of that. And I have my pot here, which is five drops of therapeutic peppermint oil, okay? So let me just tell you what I did for my son and I do for myself. And actually... Um, we're going to start doing this regimen every day, every single day, because right now we need our lungs to work and we need our lungs detoxed as well. So to detox his lungs, I got a stainless steel. This is a stainless steel little pot. And I put five drops of therapeutic peppermint oil in there with about five drops also of lavender oil okay and i had the steam to start coming it was on at first the steam was coming up pretty good so i had him to put a towel over his head and stand here and inhale for five full minutes okay um he had a chair and he just had the towel over his head and he just had his mouth open and you are to breathe in through your nose and your mouth deep breaths in here, it is cayenne pepper. This is tea. In this teapot, it is garlic, cayenne pepper, and ginger root. Garlic, cayenne pepper, and ginger root in this pot. Along with olive leaf, mullein leaf, peppermint leaf, golden seal, all in this pot. Okay? He had one cup of that. Once these herbs, if they're leaves or roots, once they are immersed in hot water in a teapot, the hot water withdraws all the medicine out of these plants into this one pot, okay? And he drinks two cups of this a day, and I drink two cups of it as well. Okay, so I showed you how to do the detox in the lungs five drops lavender oil five drops of therapeutic peppermint oil towel over your head take in deep breaths for five minutes this here is medicine pure god sent medicine in here once again cayenne pepper or african bird pepper garlic cloves not powder garlic cloves uh ginger ginger roots the roots olive leaf 
one tea, one tablespoon of olive leaves in here also one tablespoon of mullein leaves one tablespoon of peppermint leaves one tablespoon of golden seal so the golden seal is um uh antibacterial uh it is uh, also an antibiotic okay we got to keep those lungs clean fresh and clear peppermint leaf is in there mullein leaf is going to be a expectorant to pull out all phleum and mucus from the lungs olive leaf your immune system also olive leaf is good for sinus issues peppermint leaf peppermint leaf for what you're going to be using this for is good for your lungs breathing um your digestive system and detoxing your lungs okay so that's when you get all of this together in here you're going to pour it in a cup you're going to get some of these leaves in your cup but just strain it or keep it in there however you want to do it then you want to add some manuka honey let me show you the manuka honey that i have manuka honey is also uh antibiotic manuka honey okay raw manuka honey two cups a day you do this once to two times a day now here's the very good part this here is a vaporizer it lets off um like you know steamy air in the room what i do with this i put a pinch of himalayan pink salt in here and i do 10 drops of therapeutic peppermint oil with 10 drops of lavender oil i sit this in his bedroom down by his bed and what it's going to do is it keeps your lungs also clear okay you're going to when you start breathing it close your door to your bedroom also this is great for if your child has coughing asthma this stops the coughs and stops the asthma in his tracks also with asthma and this and all of this frankincense oil keep you some frankincense oil around you put the frankincense oil behind the child ears on the child's chest underneath his nose and on the bottom of his feet you will see how the asthma will disperse okay frankincense oil um also frankincense oil along with these remedies is good for someone who's having a lot of seizures okay um let me see did i forget anything oh one more thing which i don't have keep you some red onions red 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 onions what you want to do with the red onion when you're having respiratory issues but you're going to follow all of these steps okay what you're going to do with the red onion you want to cut it where it's about this thick okay about that thick right there and make sure it's round and what you want to do lay it on the child's chest now this is not just for children this is for adults as well lay the onion on the child's chest okay and then let me show you what else i want you to do hold on everybody let me get this hold on hold on you see this tape you want to take some tape and you want to tape this to the child's chest with the onion on there what the onion is what the onion does the onion pulls out everything bad from the lungs okay everything bad from the lungs the onion will pull it out you can also put this on the bottom of your child's feet if the child has a lot of coughing uh and things like that but you want to follow these remedies okay along with the onion on the chest and the onion on the bottom of the feet you tape it up put the child's sock on if you're going to do it on the chest, if you're really having respiratory issues, issues, you put the onion in the middle of the chest, okay? You tape it on so that it will not move, and you cover yourself up with a t-shirt or something, and you go to bed. In about 30 minutes, all your coughing will stop. You will start, you will start coughing up productive mucus, productive mucus. That's the key. Productive mucus should be coughed up productive it's coughing is not productive when you're coughing and nothing is coming up that means your lungs are not working you want productive if you can hear the mucus in your body in your lungs if you can hear the rattling and you're co constantly coughing and nothing's coming up 
That's not good. That is not productive, okay? So just follow these remedies. And if you have a little one, you can just do um, the olive leaf, the mullein. You, you can do all of this, even for a, a, a young child. You can do all of this. Even this in the bedroom, the onions on the feet, everything. But you won't be able to do this for a toddler. You won't be able to do it. The tea, yes. The teas, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. My son has been doing this since he was about a year old. Um, he used to uh, have asthma. He used to have coughing asthma. He hasn't had anything like that since, oh, it's been years. And he's 17 now. Um, we don't. We don't, he, he doesn't have those things anymore. So I tried to upkeep his body with things like this, okay? I saw that he was a little congested, so I got right in on it, and he is fine. He is fine. It took 24 hours to get him straight. He is fine. But I slacked up a little bit because he was fine, um, but that's something that we can't do. Even though my son is vegan, he's 95% vegan, we still must take care of ourselves. It does not matter. You have to step up the notch, especially now. You can eat good all you want. You can have, you can be vegan, plant-based, whatever. But as long as we are breathing the air that's outside of our homes and the air that's brought inside the homes, we still need to do this. Even if you're vegan, you have to, it's a must, okay? So I just want to bring you guys this wonderful video tonight on know how to take care of your families know how to okay talk to you guys later peace and blessings